Grade 8 math, number 6.4a. We're making our way through chapter 6, which is all about functions. Interpreting graphs and rates of change. We can describe a relationship from a graph. We can also draw a graph from a description. We've done it. We just determine where the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. We analyze the rate of change to see if the function is changing quickly or slowly. We describe what these features mean for the problem. We use the same features to draw a graph. We have an amusement park that's open from May to October each year, and this graph shows the number of visitors during the open season. You can see that it opens in May and it closes in October. Can you see what the graph is doing right here and then suddenly right here? Well, section number one shows the number of visitors during the opening weeks of the season are staying constant, aren't they? Then section two is showing a steep climb as the number of visitors grew quickly. Now why would that happen? This happened in June. Maybe because school is out for the summer? Section three right here shows an almost steady number of visitors to the park. That's the middle of vacation, isn't it? That's the middle of summer. Number four right here shows a sudden drop in the number of visitors. And then there's a very slight bend from this point down it's hard to see, but from this point down, it just falls. That's the end of August, maybe because school is starting and the summer vacation's over. So we can tell from this graph in section three right here is when the park made the most money and had the most visitors, didn't it? And the positive slope shows the attendance to the park is increasing or growing, and the negative slope shows the attendance is decreasing. It's becoming less, see? interpreting graphs. We can see the rates of change. If we wanted to, we could plot those points and we could actually find the slope and we could find the rate of change, couldn't we? Yep. Okay, we're going to continue on with the topic of analyzing graphs. We're going to talk about matching graphs to situations in the next video, 6.4b. And we'll slowly cover all these topics for functions and you'll really understand. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye!